So when we left off, we had Amplify successfully configured within Nuxt, and we were able to load our project without any issues. Next up, we'll be going over how to add authentication to our Amplify backend. However, first I want to make a quick note. So in the last video, I had us install and register an Amplify plugin. We actually won't be using that at all in this series, so we can go ahead and get rid of those imports and remove the plugin declaration. Okay, so let's go ahead and add authentication to our Amplify backend. So this is going to be Amplify add auth. And it's going to walk us through a couple of configuration questions. Let's go ahead and select default configuration. We'll want our users to be able to sign in via their email. And that's about it. So let's say, no, I'm done. And there we go. We can see successfully added resource and then our resource name locally. So the next thing we need to do is actually push that on up to Amplify. So let's run Amplify push. Then it's going to give us our list of changes for the current environment, which is dev. And we can go ahead and accept those and continue. And this will take the configuration that we selected up in our configuration step and create those necessary resources up in the AWS cloud. So while this is working through doing that, let's go ahead and initialize our UX store. So let's create a new file under store called index.js and let's export const actions. Next server init. Okay, and since we're going to be using the module structure, let's go ahead and create another new file called auth.js. And this is where the vast majority of our authentication actions are actually going to lie. As an FYI, Amplify does have the methods that we're about to use documented pretty well up on their JavaScript authentication documentation, and I'll have that link down in the description. Okay, so let's go ahead and import auth from AWS Amplify. Let's go ahead and create our default state. So export const state. We'll have two fields is authenticated, false will be the default value for that, and then user, which will be defaulted to null. Let's go ahead and create our mutations here. So export const mutations. We're just going to have one called set that takes in the user. And this will just switch our is authenticated flag to whether or not a user was actually passed in and then store whatever user is actually passed in as our current user. Okay, then we're gonna have a couple of actions here. So let's export const actions, and we'll have one called load, and this will need to utilize commit, but it won't take any data in. Let's go ahead and wrap this in a try catch. On the catch failure, let's go ahead and commit set as null. So let's write our user as null and set is authenticated to false. And then let's try to fetch the user from auth, and let's try to get the current authenticated user. So if Amplify recognizes that there's a currently authenticated user for this session, this will return back that user session to us. And then let's go ahead and commit that user to our store. So set user and return that user to the calling method. Looks like I forgot to set equals up here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, next up after load, we'll do register. So async register, if I can spell it right. We won't need any Vuex actions and we'll destructure out a email and a password. We'll get back a user from auth.signup and we'll pass in a username, which will be our email and the password. And then we'll return the user back to the calling method. So real quick, during that configuration step for our authentication module, we went ahead and selected email as the method that our users would sign in with. However, on the back end for Amplify, that's always referenced as username. So whether we selected email, username, phone, email or phone, um, it's always going to be username that we utilize for the signup method and we pass it whatever method we actually selected. So in this case, our username is the email. And let's check real quick and see, yep, all right. So all resources are updated in the cloud for our authentication services. So I can actually go ahead and show you where this is configured real quick. So let's jump into our AWS management console. Let's go to Cognito. Let's go to user pools and then let's find our project. Mine's right up here. So you can see Amplify Nuxt and then some random string and then dev is the environment that I'm working on. So dev. And right here is where we can see our email is our designated username attribute. And it's also within here that we can actually manage and create and even see our users as well once we get some. So that's right over here in users and groups. Let's go ahead and jump back into our code. So by default, Amplify is actually gonna set us up with a two-step registration process. So we're gonna have register, and then our users also gonna to have to confirm their email. And that's necessary because if they don't confirm their email, then they aren't gonna be able to log into the application. Once their email is confirmed, then they'll be able to log in just fine. So in addition to register, we're also gonna need an async, and let's call this confirm registration. We won't need any view actions again. Let's just structure out email and code. And for this one, we're just gonna return await auth confirm sign up pass in the email and the code 
So neither of these two methods are actually going to log the user in for us. We're going to have to call that ourselves. So let's go ahead and create our async login. We'll need commit for this one. And then we'll destructure out email and password. We'll get back our user from await auth.sign in. And we'll pass it in the email and the password. And then let's go ahead and commit the user that we get back. So set user and return the user back to the calling method. And then lastly, while we're here, let's go ahead and do logout. So async logout. We'll take commit and we won't need any data. So let's so let's await auth dot sign out and then we'll commit set null. So load will get any currently authenticated user from Amplify and pass that back to us where we'll then commit that to our store, set our user as is authenticated and set our user to our user property. Register will take in an email and a password and pass that to sign up so that our user will actually be created up in the cloud on Amplify. And we'll pass in the email as the username and then our password. This sign up method will automatically send off a confirmation code via email to our user, where we'll then ask for their confirmation code. And then once they provide that confirmation code submit, we will call confirm registration, take in the email and the code, pass that along to Amplify via auth.confirm sign up, where this will then mark our user as confirmed and then just shoot the user back to us, at which point we will then call login and we'll also pass back in the email and the password that we'll still have from the register form. And with that, we'll call auth.signin to actually authenticate our user. We'll take the user that's returned there, set that into our authentication store as the current user. And it's at that point, our user will be fully authenticated on both Amplify and our system via our Vuex store, which we'll be able to call logout at any point to log our current user out on both Amplify and our current store.